Hey everybody, my name is William. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we're going to be doing another FS Economy flight back in the Cessna 208 Grand Caravan. We'll be departing from Smithers Airport, flying on to Terrace, a very beautiful area to fly around. So I hope you all enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get into the planning so we can get on with the flight. Just quickly take a look here at FS Economy. We can see our aircraft is on the ground at Smithers where we left it. Um, and we have a short flight here to Terrace. It's 53 nautical miles as the uh, as the crow flies. Um, we may not take that direct route, uh, but we can also see the aircraft has 26 gallons of Jet A. Um, we're going to want to go ahead and refuel. That's uh, quite low, so we'll go ahead and refuel the aircraft here from Glacier Air. Um, we'll fill it up to 25%. That's more than enough for our flight, so 83 gallons refuel. Just make sure that everything is still within the uh, load limits, basically, of the aircraft. And now we can go ahead and take a look at Sky Vector. This is kind of the route I have planned at the moment. So departing from Smithers, going on to Terrace, and we could take a direct route. Um, but we may uh, just kind of fly up and fly the valley and follow the river on down into uh, Terrace today. That's at least my initial plan if we can't get up over the mountains and kind of stay clear of uh, the clouds and such. So that's the plan today. Let's go ahead and get into the airplane, get on with the flight. Welcome on board the 208, everybody. We're here on the ramp at Smithers, ready to start our flight. You can see the FS Economy client aircraft is on the ground and available. So let's go to the flight tab, action, start flight. Let's make sure everything gets loaded up and it looks like it is all there. So let's go ahead and hide the client now. We go through and get the aircraft ready for startup so we can get on with our taxi. Uh, make sure the fuel tanks are open. They are. Parking brake is set. We'll put the uh, prop full forward there. Get the battery on, beacon on, and get our avionics on as well. Just kind of wait for the screens to come up for a uh, second here. We'll press this enter key. And that is all up there. Let's go ahead and zoom this map in a little bit so we can kind of see where we are on the ramp. Now then, uh, we can make sure the ignition is on. We'll go fuel boost to on. Make sure the uh, aircraft, it looks like it's clear all around. So let's go Toss ahead and hit that starter. Test. Okay. Just make sure this oil pressure's coming up. Prop spinning, obviously. Wait a second, we'll put the condition lever to low idle. We have fuel flow, ITT's climbing, torque's climbing, NG's on the rise, everything looks good. Oil pressure is now in the green. Let's monitor this for a moment. Let's get the starter clicked off. Everything looks like it is good on the startup. And so now we can go ahead and get through and get ready to taxi. Uh, so we'll be on our way before too long here. All right, so we are ready to taxi. We're gonna use uh, runway tree tree for departure today, which is all the way down uh, there. So we're gonna make a left here on the ramp, go all the way down to this taxiway, uh, and then backtrack onto the runway, turn around and use full length uh, for us today. So let's go ahead and get our parking brake off. Let's get our taxi light on and make sure we are clear over to the left to make this turn. Put the power in. Just trying to lean on the tow brakes a little bit as we're turning around. We have this uh, very nice looking TBM just chilling on the ramp here. I will taxi off in front of him and start our way down. So we kind of know where we're going on the map, so let's go ahead and zoom it out. That way I don't uh, forget to do that, basically. And if you could kind of tell from the Sky Vector um, uh, map that we had up for the plan, we're going to fly uh, basically runway heading on departure, and then there should be a little bit of a valley uh, that we can kind of sneak in, kind of go around this build up here and go um, further up towards the north. And then we should hit this river and follow the river all the way down into Terrace. I think that's going to be our plan for the day. It's a little bit more fun to kind of fly the uh, not-so-direct route anyways. So 
Uh, that's what we're going to go for. Not necessarily what the GPS wants us to do, but... Uh, flying straight lines can be a little bit boring anyways. So let's go ahead and set our altitude. Um, we'll go ahead and set it for 6,500 feet, I think. And we'll hold short here. Just a moment. Let's go ahead and get our takeoff flaps out. Conditioner lever to full forward. Strobe on. Landing lights on. Go taxi light off at this point. And let's get our transponder on as well. Alright, so we can back taxi now. Looks clear all around. We have runway heading set up in the heading bug. And we'll start down not very far. We could have done an intersection departure there for sure if we wanted to. Uh, but no one's waiting on us here. We're not in anyone's way. Let's go ahead and use the full runway. We will be rotating at 70 knots, trying to climb out uh, about 110. See if we do a better job than last time. Actually getting up to our... Uh, our climb out speed, but really as long as it's uh, kind of north of 100, 100 knots, I'm, I'm pretty happy for climb out. And we'll go ahead and arm the uh, heading mode as well. So let's go ahead and turn around and line up. It's a very creaky airplane when you start turning. Sounds like an old boat. Okay, we're lined up on runway True Tree. There's a beautiful view off in front of us. <clears throat> nice voice crack, man. All right, let's zoom the map in a little bit and let's go ahead and set takeoff power. And we'll release brakes. Airspeed's alive, looking for 70 knots, just hold that center line. There's 60. There's 70, rotate. Alright, we have a positive rate. Go ahead and uh, hold about five degrees here. Let's continue to build our airspeed. And then let's pull up a little bit more. Get our flaps in. And really pitch now. Going for about 10 degrees nose up. Getting a little bit gusty as we kind of got up off the ground there. get a little bit of a view over the nose here. Alright, so uh, we don't need to be on runway heading anymore. I can kind of see where we're supposed to be going. In between uh, these two, this little mountain, uh, not so little, mountain we got off on the left as it kind of slopes away, it looks like that's uh, kind of the route we're supposed to go in between to get up to the river here. So we'll continue on up. 6,500, we don't need to go quite that high if we don't want to. We could probably settle for 4,500, in all honesty. So we'll go ahead and plan for that. We're right around 110. Continue climbing a little bit before we... Uh, really make any decision completely on exactly what we're doing here, but I think this route will be more fun regardless, so we'll 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 stick with that. But altitude wise, not gonna not gonna fully decide on something just yet. Yeah, pitch the nose down a little bit.
we definitely could go higher on this flight. We could probably actually make it directly over the mountains if uh, we wanted to. Like I said, it's it's a little bit more fun sometimes to fly the less direct route. So we can kind of cheat to the left, come almost directly west now. At 4500, we should be nice and clear of... Uh, this little ridge line, ridge line that we'll be hopping over, so I don't need to worry about that too much. And basically we just need to get up to uh, the river. Instead of following um, on the map, you could see basically following it all the way around, uh, you know, straight up towards the, the northwest there and then looping back around back in. Uh, we can kind of just take this cut out through the valley, expedite the trip a little bit more, uh, while still being able to kind of fly a little bit, a little bit more of a scenic path. The beautiful clouds loaded in here. Later in the afternoon, it's probably one of my favorite times to fly. We need to watch our altitude. Had the airplane trimmed heavily nose up there and start building airspeed. <laughs> Looking around at the clouds, it just gets away from you. Start pulling that power back as well. So in Sky Vector, I knew um, one of the things I was going to look for is there's like two ponds, basically, through this first part uh, to kind of make sure we're going through the right. Uh, valley, and I can see them here off the nose. There's one pond, two ponds. You can see them on the map as well in front of our aircraft. One little body of water and the slightly larger one. It's really hazy with that uh, sun right there. You can see the beautiful outline of the mountains off in the distance as well with the sun. Uh, this is... I'd be curious to know what, what y'all's favorite favorite time to fly is. Um, sunrises can be cool and everything, but for some reason, I just... Uh, the sun setting is... Uh, like, late afternoon into sunset has got to be my favorite time to fly. We'll go ahead and get our landing lights off. Can't really see a whole lot off that direction because of the sun, but just work our way up towards the river now. We'll cut to the right uh, before too long. In all honesty, if we wanted to, we could kind of uh, deviate from the sky vector plan. It looks like we could cut down here and snake around uh, to the river that way. But in all honesty, I had this, I had this uh, kind of planned out on the map. I want to stick to it. But we definitely could take that route there if we just wanted to uh, change it up on the fly. Like I said, we definitely could go higher, but. One of the nice things about Flight Sim is you can you can do what you want, and uh, this, is, this is the kind of stuff I enjoy doing. I hope you all enjoy the flight as well, to take in the sights. Enjoy a beautiful day here in British Columbia. So we don't want to get too close to this uh, mountain here on our right, but we're going to kind of follow the a little bit of a river you can kind of see up in front of us. 
that should take us all the way to our main river. We're going to follow in to Terrace. Probably going to be getting some bumpier air here as we're getting real close to this mountain. That is a really steep face of a mountain right there. See the uh, cool little path going up the mountain over there as well. It kind of switchbacks left, right, left, right. clearing this mountain over here on our right side. Bring the aircraft to slightly left, about uh, heading a 300, and we'll fly over the top of this ridgeline directly in front of us. Some bumpy air. I do like the fact that it, it models that coming off of the mountains. But we'll fly uh, basically directly over this ridge line in front of us, and then we should be able to kind of um, start a left turn to get on to the uh, river we're looking for. You can see already we're almost up to the river, and we'll make a left turn and be on our way down to Terrace. Around in the corner here see the river leading us down the valley towards our left so we're just gonna start turning left to follow it along nice snow-capped mountains off our uh, will be off our right side up to the north beautiful river kind of see some of the uh, little valleys and paths all the way through this area the sun hitting these uh, clouds as well and some of the rays coming through what a beautiful sim Try and get out a little bit more over the center of the valley here. I was just told about uh, 260 on the heading. And then follow the river all the way down. It's got to go a little bit further west and then it'll, it'll turn almost, it uh, looks like directly south and that'll take us into Terrace. about to start our turn down towards the south, a bit more on a uh, direct path now to Terrace. See the uh, sun peeking through the clouds there, nice rays lighting up those mountains, and just how cool that sky looks over there off towards our left. Go ahead and start coming left now as well. Still following the river down down, down, down on the way to Terrace. Flying between these mountains. A ton of trees. Gorgeous looking mountains. I hope these passengers uh, understood that they were getting a bit of a sightseeing uh, flight today. Uh, none of them are going to be running late for a meeting or a dinner or something like that. But if they are, it's, you know, uh, not really adding a whole lot of time to our trip. I think we added about 30 miles to it. 
And uh, if anything, they'll just be a little bit fashionably late. And um, maybe they'll have some, some good pictures to uh, share with everybody. It has been a little bit bumpy, though, so... Hopefully they're doing okay back there. Definitely be bumpier, though. <laughs> We've had our fair share of uh, bad turbulence in some of our flights. So it looks like this next little jaunt here back a little bit towards the east should be the last kind of out of the way segment we're going to make and then we will be turning back towards the southwest and that'll take us right into the field. Um, the field elevation is like it it's uh, just above 700 feet for Terrace. I think it's um, 713 feet. Um, and we have runway 15 tree tree and 0321 available to us at Terrace. I think we'll probably plan on landing runway uh, zero tree. The wind's just about four or five knots. Uh, nothing too crazy. It is kind of gusting around though. It's not really gusting. It's more shearing. Uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty big swings in the direction. But at five knots, it, it's uh, more than manageable for sure. Got this little last bit, and then we'll be turning on into Terrace. Alright, we are almost able to turn basically directly to the airport. I don't know if you can see that off in front either, but uh, we have the approach lights in sight for one of the runways. Uh, we're a cool 19.3 nautical miles away, and uh, we basically already have the field in sight. Those lights are uh, rather bright, so slowly, um, I think we're going to try and hold this heading uh, for just a moment so we can kind of clear this big ridge uh, and, and, and not fly right over the top of it to try and kind of mitigate how bumpy this air gets. Um, but. As soon as we can, we'll, we'll kind of uh, make a little bit more of a right turn to get directly there. More or less heading in the right direction now, though. So I do think we'll plan for runway zero tree. Uh, I've already got that put in on the heading bug on zero tree zero to kind of help us out. Um, just give us a little bit more of a reference to what we're looking for. We're showing 16 and a half miles. Or four and a half thousand feet. Uh, realistically, just want to be at the airport right around, um, or entering our, our kind of downwind leg right around 1,700 feet. It's getting a little bit bumpy here. Once it kind of smooths out, we'll go ahead and change our altitude uh, bug over to 1,700 as well. And since we're at 15 miles now, and we have the field in sight, Go ahead and get our landing lights on. This kind of reminds me of the first flight I did in Flight Sim in the uh, caravan. It was a fun trip. It was definitely the kind of flying I get the most out of whenever I've got the time to sit down and actually do a, a little flight like this where you hand fly it almost the entire way, go out of your way, take in the sights. Alright, about 12 miles. Let's go ahead and start our way down. We'll pull the power back a little bit. We're not trying to rush over anything or anything like that. Let's set our heading bug here. Or not heading bug, altitude to uh, 1700. I think we have runway 15 tree tree. Uh, those are the lights that are kind of blazing away right there. Pull this power back even more. 
We're almost right at red line. That wasn't exactly the plan. So I think we'll go for a left downwind runway uh, zero tree. Just see the uh, sun lighten up this entire river. This airport basically surrounded completely by mountains. Definitely enjoying this part of the world. It's not bad whenever basically every airport you go into, you wind up uh, outside of, there's been a few, there have been a few, but it's mostly been down to the lack of um, satellite images and whatnot. Because uh, whenever the kind of default scenery uh, textures take over, uh, when you're used to flying around with satellite textures, it, it really does, um, it takes away. But it's a very beautiful part of the world. I was trying to see, it kind of looks like we're already uh, pretty well set up for a left downwind here for runway zero three. Continuing down. Oh yeah, this just kind of right into a nice clearing for the airport. Trying to see the runway. I think it's over here, more towards our uh, left. Try and not fly over the approach path for um, or departure path for one five necessarily. So I think you could see uh, this is going to be our runway that we're going to be landed on down there. There's the uh, it's basically um, right on the approach end for uh, runway tree tree. It's kind of where our threshold is as well. So let's try and cross. Um, over about the thousand foot markers, 1700 feet for runway 15, will put us in a nice left down one will be about midfield at that point. And we'll continue our descent down. We're below 150, so we can get our approach flaps out anywhere below 150. Full flaps 125, and we'll be shooting for an approach speed right around 80 to 85 knots today. Go ahead and pull the power back. Let's start descending a little bit more. We're nice and close, so this is probably not going to be much of a base turn. <laughs> we'll be going right to final. And let's go ahead and get our approach flaps out. Let's keep the descent going. All right, we are a beam. We need to come right a little bit. I'm kind of crabbing in towards the field. It's not ideal. Continue slowing down. Check where the runway is again. Continue going down. Just checking back one more time. And we'll start our turn towards final here. We are slow enough to go uh, full flaps, but let's try and wait until we're on final. Help establish ourselves a little bit more, but continue to slow the aircraft down. So we don't need to add power or anything like that. But we will have, we're going slow enough. We can kind of level, wings level here for a moment and then turn in. That is a beautiful sight on approach. Look at those mountains.
clouds, the whole deal. Looks very nice. All right, full flaps. Eighty to eighty-five. Keep coming down. Five hundred. Just aiming for those thousand-foot markers. Just trying to keep the speed somewhere around eighty knots. No faster than eighty-five. Don't really want to go a whole lot slower than eighty, though. Weird that says runway two one. Odd. Power out. Floating just a little bit. We got plenty of runway though. And just try and hold center line here. We're gonna taxi all the way to the end basically, so let's just get on the brakes lightly. Start to slow us down. We're going to take the taxiway here at the uh, end of the runway. That's a new one. I mean, we're we're flying 030 right now. That's got to be runway 03. Huh. I guess it's just backwards. Interesting. Anyways, we will... Uh, we will uh, exit here, and once we're clear of the runaway, we'll clean the aircraft up and get everything off. I picked up some speed there as so we were kind of diving down. It was a really fun flight, absolutely beautiful scenery here. Love flying in a late afternoon sunset, as I said. Hope you all enjoyed the flight, and thank you for joining me today. It's always nice having you guys along. Get our strobe light off. Go ahead and get all this off as well. And turn all that off as well. Didn't really use it. Oh yes, transponder. That's the other thing. Set the transponder onto standby. Man, that must really irritate ATC if you don't do that. It'd be something. That's something I'd, I'd really like to do is go visit uh, some some form of like approach facility or center facility and just kind of see what it all looks like. That fascinates me so much. Can't imagine how stressful that job is. But we will taxi on over to the ramp here. Find ourselves a nice parking spot. Get these passengers out of here so they can get on with their business. Hopefully they enjoyed our scenic trip. Hopefully you guys did too. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. As always, the typical YouTube content creator or whatever you want to call it uh, all the all the stuff that they normally say about their videos oh really getting fast here on the taxi let's make sure to not ride the brakes but let's get ourselves slowed down taxi up past the uh, fuel truck here and get parked. Complete the flight in FS economy and shut down. All right. So we're not necessarily going to take an orthodox approach to this, but we'll just try and get on this yellow line here, somewhat straight, hopefully, or a little bit off to the right, but that's just fine. Okay, so we'll get the FS Economy client open here so you can kind of see it. And I'm going to hit the parking brake. And there it goes. And it all disappears. And that is because the aircraft is now on the ground at Terrace. Our flight has been logged and completed. So the passengers are here. And hopefully they're, uh, they're happy with that flight. We'll get our taxi lights off now. Leave the beacon light on. We'll go fuel boost off. Let's see, fuel boost off, and then we will uh, go ahead and get our avionics off. 
and conditional lever to cut off. Flight is logged. A prop all the way out there. Go ahead and turn the beacon light off. Battery off. And close up the fuel tanks. That is us on the ground here at Terrace. Thank you all so much for joining me for the flight today. Love having you guys on board. Thank you all so much for the support. I hope you did enjoy, and hopefully I will catch you on the next one. But until then, bye-bye.